Hello there and welcome to the new video ClickSense versus Power BI. So in previous two videos I have shown you the difference between the Tableau and ClickSense and Tableau and Power BI and this time I am comparing the uh, ClickSense and Power BI. Now ClickSense and Power BI uh, I will show you the comparison but it has some similarities also so I just thought you know I will include that as well. Uh, so that you can basically see along with some of the differences that it has, what are some of the similarities. Okay, so with that, let's move ahead. Um, so ClickSense Power BI, first let's go through the ClickSense. So we have this uh, very important Clicks patented associative engine. That is one of the interesting thing which you will find in the ClickSense tool. Earlier it was also in the ClickView which I have majorly used. ClickSense I have used uh, briefly and where I see the similar functionality, the same engine they are using. And the best part of this engine is that uh, you can check the data quality, the data issues very, very easily. So what it does is basically it shows you based on your selection, what are the associated values as well as what are, what are those values which are not associated and those basically got grayed out. So with that, you will be able to see what exactly is going on with the data. Uh, and if there is any data qualities issues that you may want to check, you can basically do this with, with that very easily. Not only this, even in the case of filtering, like in case of Power BI or even in case of Tableau, you have the filters which is which you can specify and uh, you have to follow a path as to what filter you need to select first and things like those. But here in case, you can go in any direction you want and the values will be filtered accordingly. You can choose the highest node or you can choose the lowest node. All the relevant values will be filtered automatically. So that's something very, very interesting with the ClickSense. Second is, uh, it is relatively tough to start. Why I'm saying relatively tough to start it because not just the dashboarding piece, uh, I find it, you will, you will basically, um, you know, when you will learn it, dashboarding is one thing, but data modeling, the expressions and things like those will be slightly difficult because this tool, I will show you in couple of next point that it has very strong data modeling and data expressions, which you can write. And because of this, there is a depth of uh, scripting that you can really do. Those who are coming from the SQL background will find it easy, but if you don't have the SQL background, it will be slightly difficult. So that's why it is relatively tough to start. Uh, then it has a long learning curve. Generally, uh, in case of my other video within when I was showing you the Tableau and ClickSense, uh, the, the learning curve is relatively less in case of Tableau than it is slightly high in case of ClickSense and I'll show you for Power BI as well. But uh, long, uh, long learning curve means that at least you would, re you would require three months of learning time just to make sure that you are good with the dashboarding expressions and the uh, backend script. All of that is basically you can cover in three months and that too come to at least beginner to intermediate somewhere in the middle, middle of that um, so that you can basically start any project and execute if relatively complex logic is coming very easily. Then you have uh, good community support. It has its own community within the community.click.com where you can find the support for the problems that you are facing. You can find the documents, you can find the, uh, the uh, basically new ideas and suggestions which people are giving. All of that is very easily you can find it in the community. Then you have the basic to moderate level of visualization. Well, it's basically based on what is inside the, uh, in the click sense. So basic to moderate level, moderate complexity level visualization is something you can configure. There are a lot of options in that. Uh, so basically that goes again to the relatively tough part where you can create these visualization, do conditional formatting, some conditional settings, dynamic titles, things like those. Very, very interesting, but yes, you can configure that. Uh, you have open dashboarding. What I mean by open dashboarding is that you have the freedom of placing the component on the canvas wherever you want. If you have uh, seen my videos on Tableau or both on ClickSense, in case of Tableau, uh, you have the uh, floating or uh, the tiled. Tiled is something basically the strict layout where you use the containers and all. But in case of uh, ClickSense, it does not really, you know, uh, fix you or it does not really compel you 
on using any sort of container on anything you can put your component wherever you want and it will take it for the dashboard so that's what i meant by open dashboarding then you have the cloud based application so clicksense is only present in cloud interface or in the cloud platform you don't have desktop earlier when they initially launched clicksense they they have given the uh, the desktop application i have used it but now they have moved everything onto the cloud either you are using the free version or you are using it in your company you will be you need to have the cloud based platform so after that what you have is the strong story building so they have a separate component for the strong story building where you can have just one or group of visualization together basically helping you build the strong stories to communicate your data story uh, then you have the strong data manipulation and modeling i was saying earlier as well that if you are coming from the sql background then you will not find it very difficult but if you are not then it will take a little bit of time to really understand its techniques even if you are coming from the sql background the only help you will going to get it it is very similar to select queries right like you have select star where clause and things like those you will find that here instead of select you have load statement uh, but other other keywords and all those conditional statements somehow similar however there are some other uh, very click sense specific uh, the the keywords and uh, the functions that you need to use to really do the modeling piece but its modeling is really amazing i mean it tells you a lot about data like how many nulls you have how many matching non matching values and things like those so modeling is really really important for some serious enterprise level applications then you have the relatively less adoption due to introduction of another tool this is something what my experience is what i have seen that uh, they uh, i mean the company was using the click sense then they basically went ahead and introduced some other tools maybe because you know they have either a strong history like in case of power bi in most of the companies you have the microsoft stack and with that when they push the power bi it's relatively easy for a company to adopt right in case of a click sense where they have their own this single tool as a click sense as an offering even though it has some great features but when it comes to you know using the entire stack or entire stack is microsoft stack you know focus is going on why don't we have just one vendor who is supporting all of our data needs so that's what i've seen basically is being pushed out little bit or singled out uh, because of the history or in case of uh, tool like tableau right tableau is something which which is there from a hist uh, from almost like uh, 12 or 13 years as far as i remember uh, i have i remember i've seen it first somewhere around 2008 or 2009 and since then i am seeing that how quickly it is adopting the changes or uh, ask of the developers and there is a huge not just the inbuilt or in uh, tableau inside community support like you have it in even in the click sense but outside community support is also very strong so you have lot of people who actually know the tableau and have got an expertise by you know doing the community level visualization and that's where you know the push come when you know dif these different people join the organization they basically become an advocate as to what tool need to be used so if they have already used tableau as a tool uh, for their public visualization or community visualization these uh, click sense probably may single it out i have not seen much uh, public sort of a community on the click sense side but like i have seen in case of tableau so that's something what i wanted to just express my uh, experience uh, on uh, based on what i've seen in case of click sense All right, let's move on to the Power BI. So Power BI is uh, you have you have no associative experience similar to what you have in the Click. What you have in the Power BI is an engine which can generate automatic queries for you, but a seamless or an intuitive experience which you have in Click Sense is something which I did not see. So no associative experience which I saw when I compare it with the Click Sense. in comparison with click sense it is also relatively tough to start why because similar to click sense what it has is it has the front end dashboarding environment it has query editor and it has the modeling capabilities so it takes a little bit of a time for a beginner to really you know grasp that concepts and that's why it takes again around 3 months time frame 
to really get a hand on hands on uh, basically on the on the tool and uh, take any project and execute it after that uh, you similar to that uh, what i mentioned is you have 3 months sort of a period time just so that you get familiar with most of its concept and take up any project uh, you have the good community support again similar to clicksense in power bi also you have community.powerbi.com where you can post the question where you can uh, you know look at the documents tips and tricks and things like those so in both these cases they have basically uh, you know similar at least these three points are relatively similar in both these tools then you have the basic to advanced uh, visualization when i say advanced that means external visualization which is third party visualization that you can build in the power bi click uh, the the power bi in built visualizations are also slightly advanced but if you are looking for some more innovative visualization you need to basically go and look for external visualization in case of clicksense also i have seen that you have external visualization that you can integrate a third party visualization but uh, in my experience when i tried to integrate in clicksense it was relatively tough so i left it but in case of power bi it just click 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 like couple of clicks and you have the visualization inside the only thing you need to take care is that uh your organization data policies and uh, you know security policies support this so you can use it if you are using it for your own private use but if you are using it on your company's data just be very very sure on that because it may happen that tools or those charts or external viz are create are, are collecting your data uh then you have the open dashboarding which is similar to clicksense that mean you can place your components the kpis and the charts the way you want whatever makes sense and uh, get the dashboarding out at the end you have both desktop and cloud in case of clicksense you only had cloud but here you have the desktop and cloud and in the premium cloud you will get the same features so that's the benefit you have uh desktop is really really helpful for learning uh even for especially for those who are beginner like i was a uh, couple of i would say years back when i was started when i started evaluating that um and cloud based is something where you need to use your company id to basically get get the cloud access then you have the no separate story component again with the help of only the dashboard you can create your stories you can link multiple sheet the functionality is there but there is no separate component of story like you have in the clicksense after that uh, you have the strong data manipulation and uh, data modeling so for data manipulation you have dax data analysis expression language for data modeling it is similar to uh, it's basically the power query where you can you know uh, get the um, get the data join the data and things like those do the modeling stuff also it has m language i have not used it so i am not expressing or i'm 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 not basically describing that here but m language is also something which is part of it i think it is used for automation or something like macros or something but i'm not 100% sure but its m language is also part of the power bi which again makes it relatively more complex probably in future when i will do when i will read about more on the m language i will let you know then you have the more adoption due to existing microsoft stack in the organization so this is just to compare it with this point i have already said enough on this point that yes if you have the stack or if you have the strong community backing on on a particular tool the company goes ahead and and develop and, and introduce that tool so that's mainly i wanted to show you some of the similarities some of the differences which from a developer point of view what you can expect over here uh if you are starting learning this tool what will be the time frame and things like those but still even after that if you have any question you let me know in the comments i will i will either answer it over there and if i see it is a good uh question for a topic perspective i will create a video out of it also if i have left anything over here from a comparison point of view and if you are aware of that please please uh put it in the comments so that i or anyone who is looking at this video as a community can basically learn even from your knowledge so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic